Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Nine to Five Nerds. Clapping quietly, Song clapping. clapping. For Golf what? Clapping. For the intro. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I lost my train of thought already, and we're just at the very beginning of this episode. This is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Great kicking off point. Wow. Wow. That's why you don't use trains. This is why you don't eat a brownie. Before no tapping the, the phone on the table. I don't do that. <laughs> uh, what I wish we had brownies before podcasts. Oh my gosh. Uh, welcome to this week's episode of 9 to 5 Nerds with Robert Swathwood, Corey Urkel, hey. Katrina Swathwood, Hello. and our guests today are Anthony Smith, What's up? and Brian Pasfume. Hi again. Um, we are going to be doing a movie bracket challenge, they're all the rage on, on the interwebs. Uh, no? Are they? I don't know. Yeah, well, it started with that Pixar one that was really fucking terrible that said the best <laughs> Pixar movie was... Some garbage. Has there, picked. Up? Has there ever been an internet list you agreed with, like wholeheartedly? Do you see that video game list this week? It was like ten. It was don't put your fucking elbows on there. You don't have to touch uh, the table. It said the ten games that people say they like but nobody actually likes. Like what? The yeah. Last of Us was on there. I think you what? mentioned it last time. Uh, did I mention it on here? Oh, there was I a, didn't hear it. There was a lot of shitty. Like it was like seriously, Final Fantasy VII was on there. Um, it, was all, it seems like an onion post almost. It like seemed a like treasure a treasure trove of games. It seemed like a likes. guy that maybe he his complaint about Last of Us is that you had to scrounge for ammo. It's like yeah, no shit. Yeah, that's that's the point. Right? Yeah, but it, it was irritating. But our list is going to be a thirty-two bracketed movie list of the top grossing movies of all times, not including inflation and <laughs> movies that we have seen. That's a mouthful. <laughs> so it is God. a very specific, specific list. set. Is there an abbreviation for that you have? Shield. <laughs> <laughs> now we uh we, we went through the top fifty movies basically, went to the ones that we've all seen, and then we because we had said on here we we're gonna do top thirty two, but I couldn't I don't have the time to watch four Fast and Furious movies, three Transformers movies, and I mean you guys all have time because you're not doing anything, but I wasn't gonna make you watch Minions and and all of the animated movies that were on the list. Yep. So we have uh, the top 32 movies, and we're going to live draw. We have them all in a, in a bucket. But uh, I had a question to you guys before we always... We don't always go to the exact topic of what we have. And uh, I was going to ask you a question. So, minus Corey, when you're a kid, there are certain foods you don't like. And as an adult, sometimes you like them, correct? Like... You have acquired... I didn't like onions when I was a kid. I like onions now. I mean, I'm certain there was things you didn't like as a kid that as an adult you like. Tomatoes. I mean... I still hate tomatoes. That's okay. Everybody yeah, has really those things. No? Ryan? Um, the only thing I won't eat right now is canned spinach. But when I was younger, I kept asking my mom for something that was... It was like pasta filled with meat. Like and, Chef Boyardee? Yeah, and exactly. I was referring to beefaroni. She thought I meant tortellini. I ate it, and I threw up all <laughs> over the couch, and it was a terrible experience, and I love tortellini now. Okay, so that's the thing. I mean, but like asparagus as a kid, most kids don't like asparagus or Brussels sprouts, but as an adult... Yeah, I got well, into salads when I was in like high school. When you cook Brussels sprouts... Got into salads. Salad. Yeah. Yeah. Got into salad. Got salad. 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 We started a relationship. That's, that's yeah. a risky thing. Most people do, you know, drugs. Brian got yeah, into salad. Yeah, you wait till you get to college salad. before you start the salad, dude. <laughs> but <laughs> I was I was thinking of the reverse thing. Is there anything that you liked when you were younger that you don't like now? And I have a specific thing that's very, very disgusting uh, that I used to eat. Not as, Shit. as a kid. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> That's you, dog. <laughs> I, I used to lick white dog shit. Yeah. That was me. I still haven't found that picture yet. I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going to get it. No, but like I'm when I was early 20s, I used to go to a restaurant and eat something very disgusting. Oh, God. And I wanted to oh, God. tell you guys what it was. Uh, <laughs> and I was just curious if you had anything that like... Anthony used to eat gushers like nonstop as a kid to the point where his shit turned weird colors. Yeah. that's, that's It's a gushing. Do you yeah. eat gushers now? Um, I haven't had a gusher in a couple years, but I would rather enjoy some gushers. Okay, so but you'd still enjoy them. So when I was in my early 20s, uh, we used to go to a place called Soup Plantation. I'll explain what it is because all of us know what Soup Plantation is, but somebody listening somewhere else might not know. Correct? Is it West Coast? 
No, I think they have them in plenty of places, but it's not like, like a it's McDonald's. It's like sweet tomatoes yeah. or something. Okay. Yeah, it's an old person buffet yeah. with salads and, and soups. Very little meat. Yeah, and a little bit of bread. There's a huge salad bar before you go in, then you pay. And when you go in, there's like 10 different kinds of soup. They have a dessert. They have uh, not pizza, but it's the focaccia bread or whatever it is. It's a decent place. It's a little expensive. It's very expensive. It's like $12 a, $12 a person? Yeah, it's for like lunch. It's something like that yeah. for, uh, plus some, a, for a place that doesn't have meat. Plus a drink. Plus you have to pay for your drink. Yeah, you have to pay for the drink separately. I always thought it was really expensive. I'd rather go to a casino and go to a buffet that has a bigger variety. And you can find the stuff you want. But anywho. Yeah. So what I used to do, and I, this place had like four or five different salads that were already pre-mixed, and then you could build your own salad. So what I would do is all I would put on my plate is raw mushrooms and hard-boiled eggs, and I would smother it in ranch dressing, Ugh. and I would eat a big pile of hard-boiled eggs, raw mushrooms, and ranch dressing. Oh, that's fucking gross. It's true. Early 20s Robert would eat that every single time we went to plantation. 33-year-old Robert thinks that sounds so fucking foul. Put ranch dressing and mushrooms on a pizza, and I might be tempted, no. but yeah, not, not hard-boiled eggs. But you'd have, you've had a Cobb salad before, right? Oh, yeah. That that's has hard-boiled eggs. Yeah. No, that's fine with me. And it has ranch dressing. The Cobb salad part. Not the plate of mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like raw mushrooms? I do. And you like I don't like canned spinach. That's about it at this point. But that whole combination, it's like... But you eat it in a salad. I know. And you got into salads in high school. I did. Yeah, I was introduced into salads in high school. Introduced. Actually, no. I was introduced <laughs> to salads in at a horseback riding camp. Like an older kid introduced at you a, to salads? At a horseback, horseback riding at camp? At a horseback riding camp I got sent to. Is that what the horses ate? To ride horses. <laughs> Up here, Julian. So is there anything that you guys uh, are embarrassed that you ate? Like balut? Uh, mm. I just wanted to tell that story because Katrina's always like, that's so fucking disgusting. Yeah. When I, I, was, I have to think on it myself. Right when now. I was a little kid, I used to eat cat food. We, everybody has tried like a dog treat or cat food. or. Uh, I never tried <laughs> I don't, I, no, I'm saying this was probably when you were like a little kid if, crawling if, around. There was a chance I put something in my mouth, but like as I like... Never as a knowing adult or teenager or kid have I eaten cat food, but my grandma said like at all points because the cat food was <laughs> the cat food was out that as a kid you put stuff in your mouth. So that's what I'm talking about. I'm not saying oh, fucking James and Anthony used to go out in the lawn and eat rocks. They both had fucking silver <laughs> teeth and they would chew on rocks. That yeah. Uh, I, thought, I've, I thought James was the rock rock kid. Both of you guys. Uh, <laughs> rock candy. I've eaten uh, like dog jerky before. Not jerky made out of dog. <laughs> but like uh, <laughs> those like pepperoni things treats? before. Uh, I tried one of those. Eh, it was just, it's dog food. But no, I feel like I'm there's sorry. foods I eat less of, but that's more of just because I don't, you know, like as an adult, you just, you don't have a sweet tooth anymore. There's things you don't what eat. What the you? Like responsible with. Like I don't, I don't drink soda don't nearly all have braces. as much. As... I can eat candy. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking like as <laughs> like a responsibility braces. factor. Like there's uh, if I, I eat can... a whole burrito, I feel sick to my stomach. Yeah, like things like that. But as one specific food, I can't think of anything that I've eliminated for more than a year. I had a homeless. <laughs> I had a homeless person ask me for for to buy them food today, and I said no. And then I had I I had extra food, so I gave it to them, and they were like, oh, thank you. But as this person was smiling. Their whole front top teeth were all gold. Like. That's strange. Yeah, right? How'd they get that? Well, I they, don't know. How'd, how'd they, they get that? It? Yeah. Did you take them? That the gold teeth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> payments? <laughs> no, I didn't. Like, nah, nobody's in them. Are we bartering? You know what else happened this week? I was listening. You ever listen to Pandora? No. no. Yeah. You listen to Spotify? No. What do you listen to? Apple Music. Yeah, to his own my stuff. My own stuff. He's digital now, Robert. All digital. So is Pandora. I mean, it's not like his, <laughs> his library is digital. Yeah, but I mean, Pandora's free. He pays for his stuff. Okay, so I I, uh, I was listening to something and a Tenacious D song came on. I was like, oh, I haven't listened to Tenacious D in forever. So I put Tenacious D on my uh, Pandora station, and I got Tenacious D, CeeLo Green, The Rolling Stones, The Beatles, Lonely Island, uh, Robin Williams comedy track. Uh, <laughs> the Lonely Island, Jack Sparrow, Michael Bolton song. It's a great song. <laughs> and uh, like a bunch of other like classic like bands and stuff. Uh, the Eagles came on. I'm like... That's an odd mix. Yeah, I was like, Very Pandora eclectic. really doesn't know what Tenacious D is, so it just fucking throws, throws all anything. this stuff. But I was like, this is a great station. 
I was, I was kind of excited. And then, I have a Tenacious D story. And then Kickapoo came on. It was a good song. Anyways, what's your Tenacious D story? When I used to work at Blockbuster, we had DVDs that we ran like all the ads and every 10 minutes it was a music video. And one of them was... Uh, tribute? Not, yeah, the tribute song. And one night, I... Because if you hit the back button on the DVD player, it would just start the video again. I think we, I think I restarted it maybe twenty five times in a row over the course of about two hours just oh my to God. do it. It was a Saturday night from like ten thirty to twelve, and it was just a, it was a lot of a lot of tenacious D. There was a celebrity in that at the end of it. It was a cameo. It was like Ben Stiller or something, wasn't it? David Grohl David Grohl was, was the, the devil. Was the devil. I thought there was somebody walking by the the fo- uh, the not the photo booth but whatever the audio booth. Was somebody, uh, some celebrity. Yeah, besides the guy who made the music video, uh, Liam Lynch. I'll look it up. I'm going to look it up right now. I just remember thinking that. I remember watching that all up. the time. You know, you saw that they announced this week that uh, Pick a Destiny is getting a sequel. Oh, well, that's cool. Yes. Yeah. I hope it's That's a, such a funny movie. Uh, okay. With, the, with that said, we will... We, we, have to, we, we have to actually draw the things because we're going to draw them live and then we'll, we'll go through them. So it's going to take a minute. So... Uh, we're gonna do this real quick. So, okay. First movie. Ben Stiller. Pirates was it? at yeah. World's End. Is this how we're seeding them? Yeah. Okay. We're just saying, am I just going straight down? Yeah, straight down. Okay. Straight down. And I want to go through this part kind of, kind of quick. I guess if there's any downtime, I can cut it. You like how thin these pieces of paper are? Yeah. Rogue One. I'm drawing them all because my handwriting is so terrible that. No one else will know what it is. Avatar. Which one though? Not the the last, one that's the last, out. The last end Airbender didn't get make that much money, Corey. Are you sure? I'm pretty uh, sure. Last Har- Night Shyamalan. Harry Potter, Sorcerer's Stone, or Philosopher's Perfect. Stone, if you uh, live overseas. Sometimes. Jurassic World. Parker, I just fi- finished watching Jurassic Park with Parker for the first time. What do you think? Ooh. The first one? Yeah, he liked it, but nice. the, he's a scaredy cat, so a couple times he was it's, like... It's bad. <laughs> there was a... They released 30 second spots for that movie, and there's a really good scene of the T Rex roaring at a lion in a zoo. And it was kind of because you always see lions roaring, now you have the T Rex roaring at it. Yeah. It was a, that was a good dynamic. I like Isn't that partially what makes up the roar anyway? I think it, so. It's they a come. mix of like five things. One's a whale. The Hobbit, Desolation of Smaug. You're a whale. <laughs> Whalemer. <laughs> you have a shiny Whalemer? No, asshole. Sucks to suck. Mm. Uh, the Hobbit, Unexpected Journey. I assume you're not catching a million of these guys, so you're catching the odds. The Lion King. That's not winning. <laughs> Iron Man 3. That's not winning. Alice in Wonderland. Do you guys think yes. the new Lion King's going to be any good? Yes, John Favreau's directing it. I don't know and he, he's Happy Hogan. Who's Happy Hogan? <laughs> Finding Man's, Nemo. Iron Man's person. His bodyguard. Oh, I love thing. that guy. Black he's Panther. PCU. <laughs> he, he directed Iron Man 1 and 2. That is, and, did you say PCU? Yeah. That's Jeremy Piven. No, he's in that movie too. They're both in it? John Favreau's in, in that movie, yeah. Huh. I haven't seen it in a long time. Infinity War. What's PCU? It's a oh, college. We updated this then. Uh, the Dark Knight. It's a heavy bracket on that side. The Phantom Menace. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Deathly Hallows Part 2. <laughs> Isn't it kind of sad that this list will always just keep changing because more people... Dead Man's Chest, Pirates of the Caribbean. Alive to watch more movies, to spend more money, like, in combination with inflation, just more people in general on Earth, that, like, the number one list... Jurassic Park. The number one spot is not probably as coveted as, like... That number one spot's not going to be touched for a long time, either. No. Deathly but, Hallows Part 1. When is it some list where, it's like... Percentage of population that watched the movie when it came out. Cause well, Gone with the Wind is number... Or is it... With, if you do inflation? Yeah. But yeah, it sucks that, like... Such a good movie. The Force Awakens. How many theaters were around? And, like, how many people in the United States were around back when that movie came out? Like, half. The Dark Knight Rises. So, that's that's a big number, then, if you think about that. The Avengers. Well, it's funny, is when you look at these on Box Office Mojo, you can see the studios... And like the first one is like Disney. Well, it's the first couple Avatar, and then and then uh, Jurassic Park is different. But then it's like Buena Vista, Buena Vista, Buena Vista, Buena Vista, Buena Vista, because it's all the Star Wars and Marvel movies. Age of Ultron. Every, every list, every, I mean, every year you'll get Return of the King. <laughs> two, three movies breaking the top ten. Uh, not the top ten, but definitely the top twenty. Oh, well, I wonder how many movies 
from this year. We'll go break the top ten. Uh, Half Blood Prince, Harry Potter. Obviously, um, Infinity War. Yeah. And I don't know. Uh, Civil War. How Jurassic World Two will do compared to Jurassic World One. Yeah. That was a surprise that that went as high as it did. Uh, the Hobbit: Battle of Five Armies. You would think that Jurassic World Three might have soured a lot of people, but it'd been enough time. Titanic. Did either of you guys play Fortnite? No. 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 So they put in a mode, yeah. The Last Jedi, where you can find the Infinity Gauntlet and awesome. you turn into Thanos. And I've watched a couple of videos. I haven't found it. I've played a couple matches, but not Harry really Potter: much. Order of the Phoenix. Did I see that? I heard about that nope. crossover. I'm like, that's fucking. That's smart. That's legit. Oh, yeah. It's so Two. badass. Okay. I watched a couple. Toy Story Three. But you have to download. Oh, you have to pay for it. No, you don't have to pay for it. Uh, I seen, like, a lot and of the memes Frozen. I was like, I'll never pay for a video game. And it says, you know, a thousand ad- added to uh, the game. And it's like, oh, here's my wallet. I was listening uh, to a podcast, and the whole, they were talking about uh, Infinity War. And the whole time, how do you say Thanos? Thanos? He kept saying Thanos. Thanos? And it, like, I don't know if it's the symbiote thing again, but it's, like, rubbing me the wrong way. I say Thanos. Thanos. Is that the wrong way? Dan, I've always Fan. said Thanos. Thanos. I grew up saying Thanos, and now I say Thanos. I guess but you could say than, Thanos. Thanos. It's spelled than. More than. Less than. Equal. Onward then. I'm having a fucking allergy attack is what I'm having. Woo! Ooh. Ooh. Is that what that smell is? No, what? I farted again. <laughs> uh, so our first bracketed movie, since we've drawn them all, is... Pirates at World's End versus Rogue One. Some of these are going to be real easy. Rogue One. Because, I mean, I would say Rogue One over... Rogue One. Other than the first Pirates, is there really a good Pirates? I don't hate Pirates 2 and 3. I don't either. By a stretch. But they're not great they're not, movies. They're not part one. Part one, part I one's actually, a great movie. I agree. But not horrible. Like, not compared to like, the Star Wars prequels. Like, I would put that. So, but in terms of Rogue One, I did not hate Rogue One. So I think most people didn't. I think most people liked Rogue to be One. Honest, they're so close to me. It's, really? Yeah. Those two are close? I don't even think they're close. I think Rogue One, yeah. Rogue one is miles better. Rogue One, I think, picked up for me in the third act, but the first act, it wasn't the best movie. The first half. By the end of it, you're into it, but uh, but Pirates fucking drags on for like two and a half hours. Well, the best part about the second and third one is uh, Davy Jones. Yeah. I mean... But not, everybody's got a plot. The ship's got a plot. <laughs> yeah. The but third one just kind of, I mean, with they the, went downhill progressively. What was it, the Stranger Tides one? I don't know if that's the first one. I never watched one. four and five. I, I didn't watch the fourth one. I didn't watch like, four. The sea battle, battle was cool, but when he got to the, the goddess lady and Jack Sparrow being stranded in the other world. And there was like the acid trip with the crab rocks. Yeah, that started to get a little... What's funny the is the best pirate in the whole series is Barbosa. He's a better pirate than Jack Sparrow. I agree. It's tough to say, but I, I do like Barbosa, so... Okay, vote. Uh, I'll say Rogue. Rogue One. It's going to be unanimous. Okay, Rogue One. Rogue One. All right. Moving on. Sorry, uh... Doesn't help I haven't seen the sequels to Pirates in... Quite some time. Yeah, probably six, seven years. Okay, next up is going to be Avatar versus Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm not the biggest Avatar fan, to be honest with you. (laughs) I thought it was... When we saw it in theaters, I've only seen it maybe two times since then. But it was very fun to watch because it's a pretty pretty movie. It's a better theater experience. Yes, absolutely. It's a really good movie, but I'm still a bigger (laughs) Harry Potter fan as a whole than like... Avatar and like sci-fi. The Avatar story is average at best. If you put Chamber against it, I would choose Avatar, but like Sorcerer, so Harry Potter. Wait, if you if you put Chamber against Avatar, you pick Avatar. I think so. I don't think I. I can tell you, there's not every Harry Potter would win. Yeah, every Harry Potter would be better than (laughs) Avatar to me. Not only are they more original stories, they're just they're better movies. I like Avatar a lot. So why? It's a good movie. It borrows a lot from things, but it's still a legit movie. Like, didn't people disagree. break it down that it's the exact story of Pocahontas? There's so many movies that are in the exact it's pretty much Dancing, Dancing with Wolves. Wolves. I've never seen Dancing I with know. Wolves. That's why you can't reference yeah. it. There's a scene in that movie where a guy was eating fish and a couple of Native Americans come and just shoot him full of arrows. It scared the shit out of me. I was like seven watching it. <laughs> <laughs> My dad made us watch it. I was like, nope. Was that near the end when they shot all the bad people? No, he was, no, it was in the middle. That's a long movie, though. That's the exact note I gave when that kid gets snatched in the first part of uh, Quiet Place. A Quiet yes. Place. I told that story today. I was talking to my friend about her her one and a half month old daughter, and I said, "Oh man, 
because we were asking about what changes when you have a child, and she's just saying how, how absolutely different. I it become is. a big pussy. And I told <laughs> I told her how I was worried about you watching that movie because of I the put kid. my hands up He's in like, the theater. Nope. I was like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> and it's quiet. <laughs> Literally. Uh, yeah, that was. I've just over the last year, we just started getting back into horror movies when we used to watch like scary shit all the time. We bought uh for sixteen dollars we got Evil Dead One, Two, and Army of Darkness. Because Katrina hasn't Blu-ray? seen yeah, Blu ray. Katrina hasn't seen Evil Dead One or Two. Did it come with all the deleted scenes from Army of Darkness? Army of Darkness does. It's the screwhead edition which has every it has all the alternate endings and not a better ending, but no. Fun. I don't think I ever seen the alternate endings. He drinks too much and wakes up in the future. It's like a uh, Twilight Zone ending. Well, where, now oh no, future. everything's gone wrong that Ugh. series just ended and it ended great like it was such a good it was fun you basically got an extra 15 hours of ash and it had some incredible incredible moments in it it was really fun i enjoyed it a lot so avatar it is then <laughs> Next uh, harry potter, harry potter. <laughs> the number nice one grossy movie of all time has been knocked out in the first round Damn. Not a fan favorite. Okay, so moving on. Jurassic World versus Hobbit, the Desolation of Smog. The Desolation of Smog. Wait, say the that again? The Dragon one. Jurassic World? Yeah. Or the Death. Smog <sighs> was the second. The, the sh- yeah. I fell asleep during that movie we went to go see it so, at a midnight showing, yeah, and you had a panic attack. I did. I had a panic attack in the theater. Jeez, well, the, the, part. the barrel race down the river? Yeah, I, it, was it, was gotcha. so, it was so invigorating. I was just like, oh, no. I was falling asleep. Was that the one with the Goblin King, too? No, yeah. that was the second well, one. The first one. I had driven from San Diego to Sacramento by myself after working a full day. So I drove overnight, and I was super tired. So I went to sleep, and then the next day we still got up early. And then we went to see, I don't do midnight showings anymore, but we went inside at midnight. And it like, was a mistake. Yeah, well, not only was it a mistake, but when when Smog started talking, I don't know what it was. I, I had a panic attack in the fucking theater. It wasn't the pale orc. No. <laughs> no, I just get this trailer. <laughs> oh god, the trailer for Teen Titans Go came out. It looks so awesome. I can't wait to see that movie. <laughs> it's gonna be good. There's this whole part where uh, they're trying to find an enemy. They're like, oh, who's our big enemy gonna be? Because you can't be a real superhero if you don't have an enemy. And Deathstroke walks it walks in, and Robin's like, is that Deadpool? <laughs> and they're like, no. He's like, I'm Slade Wilson. If anything, Deadpool looks like me. I don't look like Deadpool. And there's nice. like a, yeah, it was pretty good. Um, Anywho, Jurassic World. I like Jurassic World. A little cheesy. That that last line in the movie was so bad to me. It's just, well, what do we do now? We stay together. For survival. God, it's bad. Uh, but the rest of the movie I really liked. But it is the Hobbit is a Hobbit movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Smog had. That cheesy ass like dwarven chase at the end, where they're basically avoiding like dragon fire for like twenty minutes, riding on chains, wasn't the greatest like set piece moment. And that ending though, what, the dragon oh, he flies off, off and and Bilbo's like, what have we done? And then it just ends, and you're just like, oh shit. That was that was a good ending. I'm gonna say Hobbit. Well, because the end of the first one, he the the dragon like shakes and you see it's. And then he's a coin. Yeah, yeah it's a coin. coin. So that's the end of the first one. Eyeball open. That is a good ending. Mm-hmm. Much better than the ending of Jurassic World. But it just yes. got covered in like horrible CG gold. And then the whole chase sequence was for now. He just got out. Was it, like, I'm just going to burn everybody else. Wasn't Gollum in that though? In the, in the second first one? one. Was he the first one? Was yeah. The, first the one? Goblin King in the second one? First one. First one? First one they what started. The spiders? Second one. They started running from the Pale Orc, met the shapeshifter, made it to Murkward or whatever, had the spiders. Got captured by the Elf King, floated Jeez, down the river. No, it's just off the top of your head. Yeah. They went to yeah. <laughs> Barter Town or whatever the fuck that place, Lake Town. Oh, I haven't seen oh, Lake Luke Town. Evans was there. Yeah. yeah. I like the Lake Town stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your pick, Corey? Jurassic World. I will say, I do like watching the T-Rex beat the shit out of that. that yeah. Uh, Non-Spinosaurus, whatever the hell it was called. Katrina? The Dominus Katrina. Rex. Yeah. I think I'd watch The Hobbit more than I would Jurassic World. I gotta go with The Hobbit. Um, I think you're already done. It's three. What? It's three for Hobbit. Is Unless it? your vote counts did, for two. Did you pick Hobbit? Unless your vote counts for <laughs> two. Oh, then it doesn't matter what I pick. Um, I probably would have picked Hobbit. Yeah. That's a that's a little tighter than the other ones we had so far. 
Because they both did have... I mean, Jurassic World came out of left field, though. I wasn't expecting... I wasn't either, It was but good. If, Especially with as bad as 2 and 3 were. No, I mean, not bad, but... Can not, I say if it was the first Hobbit, I would have thought harder? Yeah, the first Hobbit's the best one. The first Lord of the Rings is the best one, I mean. I like the third Hobbit the best. I didn't like the dwarf... The CG it was dwarf? so bad. It was bad. That's a that's an odd well, little part. The, there was a lot the of dude on the pig or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. really didn't like the fact, and I know it wasn't entirely his fault, but with Lord of the Rings, they went with so much more practical yeah. stuff. Where in the Hobbit, they went with so much more CG. Three. Dude. The coolest part was fucking the wizards fighting uh, with Elrond and Galadriel. Yeah, that was bad. I didn't even remember that. They fought oh. like the witch or the the ring wraith. Do you remember that? They all grouped mm-hmm. up and Saruman was there? No? And that's when Saruman gets like, you see him like... I'll take care of okay. Saruman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the worst part is uh, Legolas fucking like running on air like blocks fall. Oh, God. Dude, I love when... Uh, oh, what's his name? Like the King of the Elves? I can't remember what his name is. Um, Ronan? Yeah. Yeah. When he, when, <laughs> what a, yeah. Um, when he rolls in on the big ass like deer. Moose. Or the moose. No Guardians yeah, of the Galaxy on this bracket. I'm surprised. Me too. To be honest, it made more money than I ever expected, but not. You see that uh, Avengers like broke the record in China. It came out. Yeah. Okay. Well, it broke the record in pre-sale sales. Okay. But that's still, I mean. You expect that China? They're all about the superheroes. Yeah. All about the Marvel. Um, I called out our uh, department head of membership. She said superhero movies were stupid, and I yelled down the hallway at the applicants for camp counselors, like, do you guys really want to work here if the director thinks that these are stupid? And they all started to giggle. So nice. you guys are, why are you, why? I was frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Way to stick to the man, Brian. Yeah. Okay, so we got Hobbit, Unexpected Journey, up against The Lion King. I know, but Corey's not a fan <laughs> of The Lion King. I mean, The Lion King is like a critically not, acclaimed movie. I'm not going to put the, uh, the Lion King behind The Hobbit. If it was Lord of the Rings, I'd throw it under the bus. Lion King. I bet you if you asked a hundred random people, they'd pick Lion King. Yeah. Did I'm you not just supposed- pick Lion King? Yeah. You pick Lion King over Hobbit? Yeah. The first one? Yeah. Really? Uh, and you, you said I you said, didn't like Lion King. You said I, you're not I a put big it fan. Up, the Hobbit movies were not spectacular. We saw the first Hobbit movie in the high frame rate, and I loved seeing it. It was good. We saw it in 3D high frame rate. It was cool. The Lord of the Rings are up here, the Hobbit movies are here, and then... That's a big gap of Lion Kings and movies. Lion Kings. <laughs> Multiple Lion Kings. Lion King pick? one and a half. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Hakuna Matata, man. Lion King? Same Lion King. Anthony? Mm. Yeah, I don't think my vote's going to matter. Think about it. Unexpected Journey. Hobbit. Now yours matters. Shit. No, you can't do that. I just did it. <laughs> just think about the song, Katrina. Think about the I don't like that Think song. about the dwarf Think about song. me uh, driving. So then, yeah, like that yeah. shit. Yeah. Think about your kids Wait until your kids say it. That's non-stop. It's no, it's <laughs> not okay. We'll take, I'm picking the Hobbit, the Hobbit just for that. Thanks, Brian. Yes. <laughs> the Hobbit just be that Lion King. Thorne Oak and Shield <laughs> singing, I just can't wait to be king. Remember that part? <laughs> That's my favorite. I actually like when the uh, the Hobbits, oh, the Hobbits, I the dwarves. Yeah, I wish I could sing like Mustafa, that. Mufasa's death scene isn't going to sway. Mustafa? Mustafa. <laughs> <laughs> when he tramples. And Dad, you know, remember all the memes that you have of, of Simba trying to wake people up? Like, <laughs> oh, that's got to be. It's gotta have, you ever, uh, have you ever seen World of Color at California Adventure? I think uh, you have. Yeah. Uh, Dad. At the, at the end, they do this whole thing where it's like all the sad moments. And the song that's playing is the song that's playing in Enchanted when they're dancing for the first time. At the ball. At the ball. And it's like this really like slow music. And it's all the sad parts. And then it gets quiet. And it's somebody's like, Dad. Oh, Dad. Oh, that was the like, no. crux of it? Yeah. Three. What were that, the, huh? What were the other sad parts? Do you remember any of them? Um, I think one of them was Wally not coming out. Oh. Um, <laughs> I think one of them so was the lady waiting, uh, laying in bed and up. Yeah, like there's a lot of. Them. I don't think Upset Great of a movie. Other, I think the beginning is way more. Like impact. ten minutes. Yeah, I'm not. I wasn't big with the dodo bird and the talking dog. I, I, it was okay. The first ten and the last ten are really solid. Yes, because he's like involved. This weird old man is involved in this young kid's life. Mm-hmm. It's a little strange. The mom was there. Yeah, I know. I, I agree with you. Was Pinocchio being abused by Stromboli on there? <laughs> I like Pinocchio. You can like it and dislike the, the kids getting <sighs> used as child labor. He got turned into a donkey and whipped. <laughs> Salt mines. All right. Next Anyways, one. moving on. Iron Man three versus Alice in Wonderland. Iron Man three. Iron Man three. I hate Alice in Wonderland. Those are both kind of 
mediocre movies. I've watched I've watched Alice in Wonderland like pretty baked on so many occasions. <laughs> I, I, I can understand <laughs> why. It's a, it's you a, could actually it's make a, it through it. Visually a like Beautiful. nice movie. I, I like it. I like any scene with a queen in that, to be honest. What's her name? Helen Bonham Carter? Uh huh. She was good. She killed it. It's That's all about the caterpillar. Well, you, you guys like the Mad Hatter dance? I, I like the Mad Hatter. <laughs> That like dance cartoon. was fucking terrible. I was. Yeah, that weird. Very lukewarm. I found it very forgettable. I don't remember anything about that movie. Yeah. Mad Hatter, I wasn't like. I was like, oh. It's a little yeah. hazy for me. Yeah, I'm sure. It is. <laughs> I would. What's the other movie we're voting for? <laughs> Iron, Man Iron, Man Iron Man Three. Iron Man Three. <clears throat> I am a fan of Iron Man Three better than Iron Man Two. So. Really? I, I thought Iron Man Two was pretty good. I. I. You saw War Machine for the first time. Yeah. That's cool. I actually liked. Uh, there were parts that are cool. I didn't like the whole like you got it. It's just me, like, you gotta solve, you have to cure yourself with the element that your dad figured out 20 years ago and left you cryptic clues on a, you know, freaking, like, I don't know. You're just not a genius that was it wasn't was, raised by like, a genius. A, like a dumbass plot point, I'm like, oh, man. I liked Whiplash on the on the track, that fight. Oh, that was cool. Uh, but they, they, Mandarin in the third one was just wasted, like, I actually like the twist. It's okay. I, I do. I mean, Kevin Slattery is funny as shit. I like all the, uh, I like all the, the Iron Man armor flying in. That I like cool. that he was dealing with actual, like, PTSD. That was like, great. That was, that was a nice movie. spin. Uh, I'd pick Iron Man 3 over, over Alice. I remember he had to go, like, What rogue. was your vote? Iron Man 3? Iron Man 3. So it's 4 to 1. Yeah. When he didn't have his suit, he had to figure out how to, like, yes. basically get into a compound. He had all these tech gadgets he was built homemade. Yeah. Like, that's a cool, that's him being... Iron Man without the suit. Did Pepper keep the abilities she got in that movie? Didn't she become like... She was wearing one of those track suits when they were in Infinity War together. I want to say they cured that whatever they called that. Explosive rage. Diary issue. Yeah. Explosive diarrhea (laughs) rage. (laughs) Extremists. But she wears wearing a crazy track suit. I want to see her. Well, it's because she's... uh, Pepper Potts could not be in another movie. She's going to a silo. In Marvel period. I'd be okay okay with that. You would not be okay with it? I would be okay with it. I have no desire to see her in it. Although I did like the kind of, the, the cameo in, uh, Anthony hasn't seen Homecoming. I oh not. my gosh. Uh, her in little batches does not yeah. do bad. She's good in small doses. Yeah. That's what they did with her in this one, so. Yeah. All right, moving on. Finding Nemo versus Black Panther. Oh, that's a tough one. Finding Nemo. Really? No, not even a thought? Sure. Sure. I like, I like but you much. haven't seen Finding Dory? No. Even though it's just as good as the first one. It I, was just as I good. I haven't seen right? Black Panther 2. Have you seen Finding Dory? I have not. It, it's on Netflix. It's like, you guys, this is free shit. <laughs> it's really you. You have I my watch, Netflix account. I watched, I rewatched Shrek the other day. You watched what? Shrek. In you Spanish. rewatched Shrek? Oh, uh, you were forced to rewatch Shrek yeah. in Spanish? Did you finish Punisher? No. One episode left. Oh, it's dude. The, come on. We're watching Jessica Jones. And oh it my is, god! I know that I have to watch the whole thing, but it's like painfully Pulling terrible. My eye I don't out. like it. I it is so bad. Worse than Iron Fist. It's worse than Iron Fist. Oh, yeah, so yeah. worse. It is my least favorite. It's like, and I don't know where it's going, but it's just so bad. Right I want now. to know about the dialogue. I'm gonna have to go back and watch an episode from the first season to see if she does the dubbing over. There's like a very like noir, like 90s. she's like what it's. It's walking and the dialogue's going like... I was walking down the street. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the that hell? That doesn't bother me. It's oh, just it the me. terrible... Everything else bothers me. There's not any good characters um, yet. Okay. Um, so, okay. Have we even finished this? Finding Nemo versus Black Panther. I feel bad because I'm going to say Finding Nemo, but I've only seen Black Panther once, so it's hard for me to... I As much as I like Finding Nemo, I, there are other... Pixar movies I like more. I would say Black Panther. I like Black Panther a lot. It comes out next week. I'm really excited. I'll buy it on day one. And I don't buy things on day one as much anymore. I still don't have... Well, I don't have a lot of stuff. I feel like I've watched Finding Nemo so many more times. But I don't know how many times I would watch Black Panther. It was such a good movie, but I don't I don't know. That's a, that's a tough one. This isn't the, hey, what movie would you rather put on and watch? It's what... Like, I'm not going to go put on Blade Runner 2049 yeah. all the time, but it's an amazing movie. Oh, so good. Uh, I get, I, I'd say Black Panther then. So are we picking favorite movies or movies that are better? Best movie. You can take that any way you want. Right. I'm just putting my two cents in. 
You could, if it's something that you watch and you would watch it more, then and that's your reasoning. Then that's. I really reasoning. like the way that Black Panther fights. I like a lot of the characters in the movie. Uh, maybe it's just that I'm burned out on kids' movies right now because it's that's what all we watch. watch a lot. But Nemo, and it was a big jump. I mean, I mean, Black Panther. When, I think what, it was a very progressive movie. When was the last time you saw like basically you had the two? I guess the two Tolkien white guys that the mm-hmm. meme was going around because yeah. you had. Bilbo, Bilbo and, and and Gollum, but I mean it was a cool cast and I I, I just like the movie a lot. I'd say Black Panther, but you should watch Finding Dory. It's it's good. It is really. It, good. I didn't think it was gonna be as good as the first one. It is. It doesn't happen very often. I'm hoping Incredibles two is as good as the first <gasps> one. I've seen I've seen a couple previews and it looks really good. I'm You're the deciding vote. For it. I'm gonna vote Black Panther. Yeah. Get those kids movies out of here. <laughs> okay. So we got Infinity War up against Dark Knight. Infinity War. Is there even a contest? Dark Knight. Really? You're picking Dark Knight over Infinity War. Yeah. Dark Knight's my favorite. Well, it would be top five for me. Top I'd five like, movies of all time? Maybe. That's ridiculous. That's that ridiculous. is ridiculous. I'd put all three Lord of the Rings movies above that. Uh, that's If you lump them in one like you like to do. Okay, well then you get, you get them all as one. So you're still going to put those over Star Wars. You're still going to put... I I'm, I'm just saying Lord of the, I would put all the Lord of the Rings above. Okay, so that's one. We're saying you you'd be you have in your four top more, five. but Dark Knight isn't a big one. I don't have the exact list. I'm just saying it's that high. Yeah, this is garbage. That's just kidding. <laughs> Should I say top Burn twenty? It. Yeah, top twenty. I, I would put the Dark Knight series in in my top twenty. I've, I've seen Avengers: Infinity War once, but I've seen Dark Knight countless times. I fucking love that movie. I want to watch Infinity Wars again. So do I. I want to go watch it at like the lot or something. I love Somewhere really nice. Oh, so I'll people. never go to the lot in, uh, La Jolla again. Why? Because I'd rather go to the one in Liberty Station where people aren't as pretentious and fucking big that, assholes. That's where, go to. where teenage kids yell at adults in the lobby. Whoa. The kid would be lucky he can fucking get smacked. Yeah. Seriously. Not that I would smack a kid because I'd go to jail. That's fine. But <laughs> Somebody talks to you? Not to me. Oh. He observed. These, I was watching all these, you know, obviously super rich kids because it's in La Jolla talking shit to an adult. They can't they do, do anything. That was anyways. it their parent or was it just no, some person? No, no, it was, it was a person. A they were person. they were running around being stupid kids. How old were they? I'd say fourteen. I I would have said something. I would have scared him. I'd been like, "What the fuck did you just say?" <laughs> He'd be like, "We'll sue you." Get the fuck out of here with that. Yeah, <laughs> I would say as much as I like Dark Knight, and I really do, it's the best DC movie. But I would still pick Infinity War. Now you can let Brian pick Dark Knight, and then the deciding vote is on <laughs> you. Well, that's, Katrina said at the beginning, that's easy, so. Infinity War. Yeah. It is so good. I, I can't wait to watch but, it again. No, I just... just wait. I, I, it's the luck of the draw. Before, I know, that was, just, that was the thing. I was wondering what would be able to knock Dark Knight off. I was thinking a Lord of the Rings movie. Star Wars. Uh, a, 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 none of the original Star Wars are on here. Yeah, right? so good luck there. But Dark Knight, I have... In my mind, Dark Knight would probably be... It's a great movie. Force Awakens. Maybe not Last Jedi. I don't know. That'd be a discussion to be had. But Infin- I know that... I figured Infinity War would be one of the few or Return of the King I think to, to be Dark Knight. All the movies we talked about right on here, Dark Knight beats all those in my book. So, finding... I just hope we're not doing a recency bias because I'm wondering in 10 years if Infinity War is going to hold up and be as... I think since it was, I it. think it will be because of the ten years that went into building it. Yeah, I just I, think of all the references people make to Dark Knight still, and you know, I wonder if Infinity War is going to do the same thing. I, I bet think, you it will, especially because I mean, as much as I say it's not a two part movie, it is a two part yeah. movie. I think it depends on the second one. And if the second one pulls it off better than Dark Knight Rises, which I mean, I like the movie a lot, but Corey will tell you there's a lot of problems with it. Yeah, I think it's I think weakest of the three. I think Infinity War and its sequel are different than Dark Knight and Rises. It's not, I mean, there's three separate stories, whereas yeah. this is like a, just a, you know. Continuation. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, it's hard to argue against one or the other. That's, yeah, that's, they're both great that's movies. That's the strongest, I think the strongest comparison we've had between two movies so far. Yes, I agree. I mean, Those it's, because they're both, they're both A's. I yeah. mean, they're both solid, solid movies. Heath Ledger probably out, I mean, I don't think anybody rivals Heath Ledger in terms of like, Drex. <laughs> I don't know, dude. When, when Peter Parker is like, oh my God. Out, I, I lost my shit. I cried. I like, told you, I told them, but did you see that James Gunn, the director of Guardians of the Galaxy, revealed what Groot's last words were? 
No. Okay, so Groot says, I am Groot, I am Groot, I am Groot. And right. that's all we hear. But obviously, like, he has Peter lines. Quill, Rocket, and people can understand him. Yeah. So I guess Ad sees fading away, and Rocket's right there. He calls Rocket Dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was, it was, that makes it a little bit more emotionally that made impactful. made my face tingle with yeah. sadness. But I also yeah. heard that Tom Holland improvised those lines. He did a really good job of doing yeah, that. Yeah, he did. Oh, man. That, well, and they built that relationship. That's like, I mean, that, that goes into building this over a period of time. They built a relationship between uh, Tony characters. Stark and Peter Parker in Homecoming. I well, mean, even in Civil War. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they've been building that up for a couple movies. So, I mean, I, I mean, they think that's why it hit so hard. And, I mean, that there was people talking, do you think that... Peter Parker lasted longer fading away because he has spider sense so he could feel something was going on. So I he actually so. got a few words, more words in than... Everybody else. I yeah. thought the Drax one was sad too because he was like, what would you say, Quill? As he was kind of like, he wasn't as emotional but he was like, yeah, obviously scared like because yeah. T'Challa went away like, Born. he was oh, gone. Oh man. Okoye was freaking out. Yeah. We never said it, but did you think Drax is going to be turned into spaghetti and left that way? Yeah, for a, se- I did. For a second. I did too. And the fact that and I the turned accordion. back and like... Mantis. Well, they just save that character for another movie. Like, if that was any other character. Here's some speculation, because uh, I, I know, not to get too much on Infinity War, because we already did one of those, but I was listening to something else. Zoe Saldana has signed on for four Avatar movies that are supposed to be filming back to back to back to back. Four more? Yeah. yeah. He's greenlit for five total. If that interrupts with Guardians, is she really dead? Interesting. Because the, the, the general thought right now is she's trapped in the Soul Stone. Just food for thought. Yeah. All right. Moving on to the Phantom Mantis versus Harry Phantom Potter. Mantis? Yeah. Phantom Mantis. La, la, la. You don't even have to say what Harry Potter it is. I think you can just say Harry Potter. Which Harry Potter is it? It is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Yeah. Oh, Harry Potter. Potter. That's, that's to me, like, that means that in the next bracket, Infinity War is going up against, against Harry, Potter. Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows 2, which for me... <laughs> That's, that's a tough. that's a rough we'll battle. Cross that bridge when we get yeah. to yeah. move on. That's all. Uh, Deathly Hallows two beats. Phantom Menace. Well, I mean, the best part of that movie was Dark Maul. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it was. Pod racing was kind of cool though. Yeah, the pod yeah. Pod Never racing, mind. the score to it. There was a lot of cool shit. There, I mean, it gets beat, a lot of bad shit. It gets beaten <laughs> down. I mean, as oh, this is the it gets a bad rap, but man, some... in nineteen ninety nine or whatever. I was so excited. Oh, oh fuck. I was... That, that movie's the fucking tightest movie that ever came out. <laughs> <laughs> if Jar Jar wasn't in it, do you think it wouldn't have done... It would have done... Like, better? Received as better? It would have gotten rid of a character that everybody hated. I mean... Would have helped. Yeah. Yeah, but the kid that they cast for Anakin, you know, everybody was, was still was tinked bad. on that kid. And that poor guy. The B kid. That guy ended up like a horrible, horrible person, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Mental problems and just... Well, imagine well, yeah, everybody he hates you. All, he, call, he killed all those little Jedi. And... <laughs> that's hating <laughs> Christian. That's hating Christian. We're talking said. about uh, Jake. Up into. And he left acting after that. Yeah, he's back what? now. Hayden? He's back now, yeah. yeah. Hayden Christensen, yeah. He left. I read a thing about him. He said he wanted, he bought a ranch and he went and lived on the ranch. He said, I don't know if I deserve this. So I'm going to take a big chunk of time off and I'm going to start from the bottom and try to earn my way back in. I'm I hope like, there's that's no cool. sand because sand's so irritating and coarse. I hate it. It gets anywhere. <laughs> I like okay. it, Corey. So Harry Potter? Yeah. That's a strong side. That's got Infinity Wars, Deathly well, Hallows. These are all... Okay. Well, hello. Uh, this is a little unusual. Uh, this is a little cut-in for you guys uh, with just your friendly neighborhood, Swathwoods. No, no Corey right now. Uh, so what happened was... What? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Nothing. Well... That was I, just funny. Uh, yeah, no Corey, no Brian, no Anthony, like you just you just heard. Uh, what happened is, is the last episode... Was extremely long. Very long. It was uh, almost twice as long as usual. So there's no outro because we are... Well, it's a different outro because this is going to be a two-part episode. So you are going to get the first part of the movie bracket, and then you're going to get a break, and then you're going to get the second one a couple days later. Uh, so yeah, we just wanted to give you guys an outro to the, all our, uh... Shenanigans? Well, what would they, what would our listeners be called? Like, Mark Maron calls his, like, his podcast is WTF. He's like, what the fuckers, what the fucking ears. What would our people be? Nine to fivers? 
No, because that's just a sin. That's just insinuating or uh, referencing like the work grind. Okay. I always thought of nine to five nerds as, hey, this is your nerdy, your dose of nerdy while you work type of thing, you know. Okay. Like, hey, listen to this nine to five, blah 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 blah. Okay. No. Or does that make sense? That makes sense. But I don't know what our our listeners would be called. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Nerders? Nerders. Maybe. That's not bad. It can't be nerdists, because that's already a thing. Well, they're... Nerdites. There you go. That would work. All right. Nerdites. <laughs> so to all our nerdites right here, this is our outro for uh, this first part of a two-part movie bracket episode. So uh, come back in uh, I can't say a couple days because what if people are listening to this like the next week and they should just go back to back come we'll listen ba- to the next episode once it's posted yeah we'll be back shortly so uh, I wanted to test a new a new we always, I always say we're out I was going to say stay nerdy what do you think <laughs> too cheesy a little bit we'll stay nerdy